I mean, the challenge with quantum computing is that the quantum bits that mm. we are using, um, they always make errors. We can reduce the errors as much as, as we can, but there will always be some finite level of errors left, which is not a fundamental problem. You can correct for them. Mm -hmm. And the way you do this is you, on the chip, you bundle many qubits into one logical unit. Mm -hmm. And depending on which um, final um, kind of fidelity you want to achieve, probably the number of qubits that you need to bundle together is between 100 to 1000. Mm -hmm. So this means that, let's say, if you have a 1000 qubit chip, you can probably have a few logical qubits um, on them. And if you want to have a few hundred logical qubits, then probably you need kind of tens to hundreds of thousands of physical qubits on the chip. And the point is actually, um, how efficient you can run this error mm -hmm. correction. And there are many ways to do this out there and we have actually developed a new approach which is based on uh, low density parity checks and with this we can reduce the overhead by a factor of 10 to 20. So we can actually build the same logical unit with around 10 to 20 times less physical mm -hmm. qubits mm -hmm. on a chip.